Okay, so first up, when I'm feeding, um, the cats are actually the first ones fed. So this is just your basic cat food. It's nothing fancy. It's what they have at the feed store. Um, I get the one that is cat and kitten, so I don't have to worry about it. It's also cheaper. It's whatever. I just give them a scoop. They do have DE, diatomaceous earth, in there as their dewormer. Feeding is pretty easy. We don't actually have bowls. It just gets shoved into the hat. And everybody kind of feasts. Hey, we are finishing up dog breakfast here. Um, so, when you're feeding dogs, um, I'm not going to go into the different dog food options. It's, that's a whole different, that could be 20 minutes right there. Um, but, we're just talking feeding strategies today. So, the biggest thing, if you're going to have more than one dog, feed them in a group. Um, if you have similar breeds, you're done. You can, um, you can feed them all out of one bowl. Um, so I've got a good friend who runs Kelpies, um, and she feeds them all in just a great big, it's what I feed my horses in, um, great big feed pan, they all just eat together. That's an excellent way. If anybody needs extra after that, then you can separate them into separate, um, give them a little bit of extra food off to the side. I don't do that, um, simply because I've got a blue healer who will eat everything in sight and a growing, he's one now, um, Pyrenees and Dolian Shepherd is the biggest. I also have a Lab Cross and a Border Collie Ozzy. There's lots of different breeds here, um, and they all have very different needs as far as how much food. So, um, I feed them still in separate bowls. They're finishing up. They got a whole bunch of bones and broth today, so we're taking a little longer. Um, but I feed them all, they've kind of scooted their bowls around now, but they all start within a foot of each other. Um, it's about mm, probably a two foot square that all their bowls actually start in and then as they're trying to lick all the fat and bones out of the bowl it kind of gets shoved around. So did it start that way? No because I used to feed everybody separate and I got to where I had to feed them in entirely separate corners of the yard. Problem with that if there's fights over food there's fights over everything else and I was tired of the dog fights. So we started moving everybody together. They have greatly decreased. They still have their pickings on each other. You're done, out. They still have their pickings on each other occasionally. Um, but for the most part, there's no more like full on out fights. You're done, you know the rules. Um, what happens if somebody growls? They get their food taken away and they are escorted out of the food circle as is happening now. Occasionally it does happen but it's much less than it used to be. Uh, the worst day we had was a day when pretty much everybody lost their food bowl. I think the lab was the only one who kept us food that day. It was just an all-out brawl. But after that it's very rare that I have to take anybody out. Um, so yeah, feed them together. Dogs that eat together, work together. 